top three lowest and highest price homes that sold in Summerlin in 2022. That's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Don't let anyone else fool you. If they say that they're your favorite Las Vegas realtor other than me, they are lying. <laughs> Just kidding. It's been a little while since I've recorded in my studio and every year I always like to go over the top three highest and top three lowest price homes that sold in Summerlin. So um, basically, you know, the real estate market was a roller coaster in 2022. We actually ended um, in the year for December 2022, the medium sales price of 425,000. That medium sales price was the same as December 2021. So all the gains that we did for 2022 just went down in a hell bucket. <laughs> um, basically, you know, the first five months of 2022 was a crazy time where there's tons of bidding wars, people waiving all concessions. And then once July hit, then we started going down and um, it became a buyer's market basically. And right now it currently is a buyer's market. So even though Summerlin tends to hold its value stronger than any other master plan community, it did see the highs and then the lows. But before I get started or before I go over these numbers, make sure you, you know, like and subscribe to my channel because I like to talk a lot about Las Vegas real estate, neighborhoods in Las Vegas, and of course, Summerlin. So first I like to just go over the total numbers I'm gonna be reading from my screen. So if it looks like I'm reading, that's what I'm doing. There were a total of 1,782 single family homes, condos, and townhomes that sold in Summerlin for 2022. This does not include Sun City Summerlin or Siena. In 2021, this number was 2,787, which is 1,005 homes sold decrease between 2022 and 2021. So that is a huge decrease between those two years. Now I broke it down even further. There were 1,478 single family residential homes that sold in 2022. In 2021, this number was 2,273. So that was a 795 sale difference. Uh, that's pretty huge. And then there were 304 condos and townhomes that sold in 2022. And in 2021, that number was 514, so 210 sale difference. So obviously, 2022 in Summerlin did not um, have better sales than 2021. Next, I'm gonna go over the top three lowest price homes that sold in Summerlin. Then I'll go over the top three highest price homes. I find it interesting to go over the two different spectrums to see what is actually the lowest price single family homes and what is the highest price single family home that sold. Um, and it's kind of interesting to see the, the difference between the two. So number one on my list is 9429 Sierra Summit Avenue in 89134 zip code. And this is located in the Las Colinas subdivision in the Hills Village. And it sold for 325,000 with an asking price of 400,000. So that's a $75,000 difference. Um, and this home was on the market for only nine days. So obviously the seller really wanted to sell the home for only nine days on the market. Um, this single story home had three bedrooms, three baths, and 1944 square feet. And it sold for $167 per square foot, built in 1990. And there was only one picture in the MLS, so unfortunately we can't see what the insides look like. And next on my list is 7609 Rockfield Drive in the 89128 zip code, located in the Plateau subdivision in the Pueblo Village. And it sold for $330,000 with an asking price of $395,000. And this home was on the market for 49 days. It was another single story home with three bedrooms, two baths, 1530 square feet, and it sold for $216 per square foot and was built in 1994. 
So obviously this one sold for a lot more per square foot than the other one. And last on my list is 7625 Haskell Flats Drive, also in the 89128 zip code, in the Plateau subdivision as well, part of the Pueblo Village. And it sold for 356,000 with an asking price of 349,900. Um, and this home was on the market for 26 days. Obviously, this one sold over asking price. It was a very nice home. Another single story home with three bedrooms, two baths, 1276 square feet. And this sold for 279 a square foot, built in 1994. So this one was the highest price home that sold. It got the most money. So um, obviously either someone really, really liked the location or the house itself. But for 1,200 square feet, it was priced pretty high. So those were my top three lowest price homes that sold in Summerlin for 2022. Now I'm gonna go over the top three highest price homes that sold in Summerlin. I'm gonna go from the lowest to the highest of the highest price homes, if that makes sense. Number one was four Soaring Bird Court in the 89135 zip code located in the Ridges, which is a guard-gated exclusive neighborhood in Summerlin. And this home sold for $12.5 million with an asking price of $13,875,000. And this home was on the market for 47 days. This modern estate has six bedrooms, three dens, eight bathrooms, 10,800 square feet with a four-car garage and a lot size over 43,000 and it was built in 2016. Number two is 1717 Enclave Court in the 89134 zip code, located in Country Club Hills, part of the Hill South Village, and it sold for 17.5 million with an asking price of 24.5 million. That's a huge decrease. And this home was on the market for 144 days. This traditional home has six bedrooms, four dens, one loft, 11 bathrooms, 12,945 square feet, four car garage with a lot size of over 61,000 square feet, built in 2001. Now, a lot of these homes in the um, Hill South, which is one of the original villages in Summerlin, a lot of these are all custom homes sitting on a large, I mean large lots, huge lots. So a lot of privacy in this community. And last, drum roll, the highest priced home that sold in Summerlin in 2022 was located at 11091 Stardust Drive in the 89135 zip code, located in the Summit, which is a very prestigious, guard-gated, exclusive community in Summerlin. This is like the most prestigious, most exclusive um, village in Summerlin. And this home sold for 18950 with an asking price of 23 million and was on the market for 196 days. This two-story Spanish contemporary home has five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 9,427 square feet with a four car garage and a lot size of over 26,000 square feet um, with city, mountain and golf course views. This home sold for a little over 2,000 per square foot built in 2019 and for 2021, the highest price home that sold was also on the same road in the same community, and that one sold for 15.4 million. So this one was the highest price home compared to 2021, and also the highest price home for 2022. And before I end this, I also wanted to make note that for luxury home sales in Summerlin, there were a total of 393 homes over a million dollars that sold in 2022 compared to 2021 numbers of 498, which is a 105 sale decrease in luxury homes in the Summerlin market. Um, if you wanna learn more about real estate in the Summerlin area, I am your Summerlin expert. I live and breathe Summerlin. I do a lot of videos on Summerlin, all the villages in Summerlin. You can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Let me know in the comments what you think of the highest price and the lowest price homes that sold in Summerlin. I, again, I find it interesting. That's why I like to do these every year to see the discrepancies between the two. And it's obvious that 
nine million compared to what was the lowest one was three hundred and twenty five thousand. Now, the lowest price homes are in the most older parts of Summerlin and also they were all single story homes. So it's interesting to analyze the numbers. And it was also interesting to see how much of a difference in sales it was uh, for 2022 compared to 2021. Now, I have a feeling that the market is slowly picking up and that probably the numbers for this year, 2023, will be comparable for 2022, meaning that there will be just slight increases. It will not be a crazy market. It will not be a seller's market. It will definitely be a buyer's market. And I think before the interest rates get higher, now is a awesome time to buy, especially in new construction. Anyway, folks, as always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.